Okay, that was very interesting. I put this here, this light bulb, and let it spark to there, and it didn't do anything, but when I put it between the capacitor, right here, it did light up for a second when it sparked. Oh, let's see if I can just leave it like that. Let's see if it'll work. Maybe I can just set it there. Oh, I think it'll fall. Let's see if I can just set the phone down and capture that image there. Uh, I'm trying to think of how I can hold the phone there. Okay, let's watch if the light bulb lights up a little. Ooh, it shocked me. That hurt. My hand's just too close to it. Let me put these, put this closer together. You know what? Maybe I could tape that there. Let me put some tape there. Okay, let me discharge these. Yeah, that's really powerful. Okay, let's see what we have for tape here. Let's take some tape. I'm gonna try to uh, tape this bulb. between one of the capacitors. Yeah, it's like, where do we, where do we access the energy, right? And by the way, study the Methernitha Testatica machine. That is what appears to be a Wimshurst machine that has more collectors and more and larger capacitors and a few other things on it. And remember this, that anything that's been made can be made in many, many different ways. That's very important to realize. <clears throat> I'm not sure this is going to work. Let me think about this. How do I tape this here? Okay, that, let's see what that does. So see what I did there? So the capacitor now has a space. A little space there, but the bulb is touching. And I'm going to make a little bit of a space between the spheres, right? A little bit of space there. Let's see if the bulb does anything. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. You see that? That is amazing. Did it stop? Oh, now it's working over here. Okay, the connection it became disconnected. See that? Now I have to be careful because last time I touched the bulb, it shocked me. It amazes me that the bulb lit, lit up there. And I'll tell you why. I put that bulb between these two in the same way where one, one sphere was touching the outer part of the bulb and the other sphere was touching the other part of the bulb, right? The two parts that make it light up. It didn't do anything there. When I put it here on the one capacitor, because my theory is there's different things happening at different points in the, the Wimshurst machine. So I'm just moving it around. I'm, this is experimentation. The gentleman that made this machine, he wants people to learn from it. What can we do with this machine? I think the Methernitha Testatica that powers a whole city and it's it's based off of a Wimshurst machine. That's my understanding, right? Because it looks like one, but it has it went beyond and beyond and beyond. They just kept going. More collectors, bigger capacitors. That's the dream of the gentleman that made this, for people to experiment and to learn. So how do we make that dream come true? Okay, I'm moving this a little bit. Let's see if that gives us anything. Now I'm gonna move that the spheres away a little bit. Let's see what happens here. It amazes me if it's lighting up. I just hope it doesn't blow up because anything's possible, right? Let's go further apart. Let's go further apart.
Tschüss. Too much. I guess that was too much. Go closer together. Okay, move them closer together. Okay. All right. So we have that. We can get a bulb to light up a little bit inside there, right? Which is interesting. Okay. What else can we do? What happens if? Okay. Those are discharged. Are touching now. Let's do my other experiment where I move one of these collectors away. So on this side, I'm going to have this collector stay close to, to the wheel. Let's see if I can move this one without moving the other. I want to move one collector, right? What's happening here? Is it going to let me... It's really tight there. There it goes. Okay, I'm gonna move this collector away. And then tighten this down. And that should still be at three eighths of an inch distance. And then on this side, well, let's try that first. Let's see what that does. Before I disconnect the one of the, because I'll disconnect this side on this side. I'll connect this side. Because this side, I want one collector plate on each plate, right? One collector on each plate. Let's see what that does. I, I move the spheres apart. Let's see if the light changes. Okay, I'm going to touch the spheres together again and let the machines come to a stop. Now I'll loosen this side. Now this one, I'm going to move this top one away, this nearest one away. Okay, that moves away and then I'll tighten this down again. Maintaining the three eighths of an inch distance on the other side, that should not be moving. What a masterful design this is! Very good design. Let's move these apart. So now, what we have is one wheel on one plate, I mean, one collector on this plate, and on the other plate that's spinning the opposite direction, I have that collector, and then uh, I still have the bulb there. I should take that bulb out and see what happens with our spark, if that changes the spark. But since the bulb's there, I'm going to leave it there for now. Okay, our spark is still occurring. Let's see what the light's doing. Okay, I'll bring these together, and then now I'll take the bulb out and leave the capacitor connected like it usually is designed to be, or like it previously was. Okay, the bulb here down here. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and connect the capacitor up. Okay, so now we're just going to look and see what happens with the spark alone now. Let's see what the spark does. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's try the other way, because sometimes it works, it'll jump further if I go the other direction. Let's try this. That is a big spark. Yeah, okay, let's stop doing this too noisy. Uh, it's very late at night right now. Okay, um... One question I have is, now that I separated the collectors in a way, right now I'm collecting on this plate with this collector, and on the other plate I'm collecting with that collector, right? <clears throat> I just wanted to see what would happen. But I also want to see if that affects when I connect to these spheres or to the between the capacitor, right? Maybe that's the place to connect. Let me try that. Right, because I want to charge a battery, right? Let's do that. Okay, what do we do right now? What kind of battery should we charge? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to make another video. Make another video of charging a battery. Okay, see you in the next video.